Hello, this is the first lesson for the DrivePrint version 3 technical certification course. This video is going to cover a product introduction and also give uh, an overview for some of the new modules. DrivePrint version 3 is a major release over version 2 because we've added three very important, very powerful modules that allow you to do much more than just mobile printing. The basic setup is the same, however. Uh, users are able to submit jobs in a multitude of different ways, either by printing from their desktop or printing from a mobile device. The job is grabbed by the drive print server, which is sitting on uh, a server or workstation within the client's network. And then it's converted and now either held or submitted directly to a printer or an MFP. So the basic architecture is the same. You're still installing drive print. It's serving as a print server. Uh, though now the release options and some of the other options are a little um, more expanded. So you see that now we have four main modules for drive print. Before there was just the mobility manager which allowed for mobile printing but now we have three add-ons. We have pull printing, authentication, and cost recovery. And all of these are available independently of each other um, for instance, you could just use pull printing, or you could just have authentication. Specifically, if you're doing some sort of single sign-on with Drive Image or something, you might just want to use the authentication module. Um, cost recovery does depend on the ability to print, however, so you would need pull printing or Mobility Manager there. Um, but same thing, you can just download Mobility Manager or just license it. So Mobility Manager you should be familiar with uh, allows you to print over 500 document formats from any mobile device to any print device and you can control for it, account for it, and track those prints. You can submit jobs via a mobile app, via email, via AirPrint, or via an upload page. Um, also you can do a file print if you have a drive print driver. Um, the other option that you have is to do a release here with your phone. So let's say if I have 100 printers and I wanted to put a little barcode sticker on them, if on my phone with one of these apps I have the, uh, the job that I want, I can just scan that barcode on the printer and it'll set the target for me. So I don't have to scroll through 100 different printers on there. So one of the new modules is pull printing. Pull printing is a way for the user to submit the job either from a mobile device or from a driver that's shared out and walk up to an MFP and view their queue. So now all the jobs aren't just spit it out immediately to the printer where anybody can walk by and grab them or where they can get lost or mix in with other stuff. Um, but the user can walk up, log in, see all of their jobs and select which job they want to print right at the printer. So if you look here, this is an example of what the app looks like on the device panel. So I submit a job from my desktop or I upload it. I walk over to the device panel. I associate myself. Um, so I either log in or I put my pin in or something like that. And here I have all my jobs and I can print them out directly to that device that I'm at. So pull printing, it's also called follow me printing, secure release. Um, and this can be an independent module of drive print. So the third module is device authentication. And for various MFPs such as Xerox and Sharp and Samsung, what we're able to do is lock down the device panel from the get-go with the drive authentication screen. So when I walk up to the device, the first thing that I see is the drive screen. And drive is controlling the authentication uh, that's going to allow that device to be unlocked. So there's a couple of different things that you can do. You can swipe uh, a card that you might already have. You can log in by just typing in your username and password. Or you can even use one of our mobile apps to scan a barcode on the screen and that'll log you right in. So that's an example of what the UI looks like on the printer, or sorry, on the copier. And not until you've logged in will you be able to do anything with that copier. So here I could either swipe my card or enter my short code, uh, or I could scan that barcode with my app, and it would unlock the copier and I would be logged in as myself. 
The last module for Drive Print version 3 is usage tracking and reporting. What this allows us to do is track all of the events of a copier, um, all of the prints that have been submitted, and all the information that we have about those prints. So we can track page counts, um, black and white, we can set rules for which types of users are able to print black and white, which are able to print color. Um, we're also able to bill back so we can associate certain prints with certain cost centers or accounts. So let's say if you're a law firm and you want to bill all uh, of your current jobs to a certain account of yours, you can, um, you can set all those jobs to be billed to that account. Also, we can export reports. Um, there are, I think, over 40 or 50 reports now, and they're constantly growing, different combinations. Um, you can view them within the Drive Print UI. You can export the data, and you can schedule the reports to be submitted uh, or generated uh, based off a certain time frame.